Today we're going to do Arctic char. Arctic char is similar to salmon, although it's in a different family, but it's much milder than any of the, of the salmon that you'll eat. We're going to do it two ways. I got this filet. I'm going to cut it in half and we're going to do half of it. We're going to pan fry and the other half we're going to bake. So I'm going to put the part we're going to bake aside. And this is the part we're going to pan fry. We're going to add some dill. And you can put quite a bit of this on there. And we're going to add just a little cayenne. Got to be careful with this. It's got a little bite to it. Then we're going to put it in the fry pan. I'm going to add garlic in the fry pan and fresh basil onto it. And we'll fry it up. Okay, we're going to fry this in butter on low heat. I'm going to mix in a little garlic. I'm going to add some basil, fresh basil. I'm going to give it a squirt of lemon. And we're going to let that fry. It's a thin piece, it shouldn't take long. Five or six minutes. I'm cooking this very low and slow, it's just about cooked through. We can baste it with some of the garlic and butter. About 12-13 minutes, it should be done. The other half of the Arctic char, we're going to bake. We're going to put it on a cookie sheet and we are going to put some mayo on the bottom. And spread this around. I'm going to put the filet on there. We're going to add a little salt, a little bit of pepper, And then we're going to make a dipping sauce for it that we're going to pour over it. We're going to use olive oil, we're going to use butter, garlic, and at the end we're going to put that in the, uh, on, the, on the stove in a pan and at the end we'll add squeezed lemon and parsley. I'll show you how that goes. Okay, for our dipping sauce going to put some olive oil in here and depending on how much dipping sauce you want as to how much olive oil you'll need. We're going to melt some butter. As the butter melts we're going to add some garlic. We're going to let that sauté up and heat up a little bit. In the meantime, we'll squeeze our lemons and get that part of it done. I'm going to use our lemon squeezer here. It works real good. keeps the seeds out. Squeeze two lemons.
Now we've got our garlic and butter heated up. I'm going to add the lemon juice. And the parsley. And our sauce will be ready. Here's when it's done. We have the fried arctic char with wild rice. We have the baked arctic char with wild rice. And we have our sauce. This is a great dipping sauce for any seafood, any fish. Really makes it good. Two ways to do arctic char. And that's how we make the arctic char. We got the fried with uh, basil, garlic, fried in butter, wild rice. We got the baked with wild rice. And of course, we have the dipping sauce that we pour over it. That's uh, butter, olive oil, and garlic. That's a great dipping sauce for any seafood. It works great on almost any fish. It's really good. And of course, we cannot cook without drinking. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.